So you called to set up an appointment to discuss an epiphany that you had. That's right. And prior to this, you've been discussing your situation with Dr. Carter? Right, and he died, which is... I know, I heard about that. So let's just start our conversation between you and me from the beginning. Why don't you tell me about your parents? Huh, your parents. Well, both my parents died in my childbirth. Okay, how did that happen? I don't really remember. I was pretty young. Okay, so let's just start with something more recent. More recent? Uh, a year ago, uh, my uncle, who is like a father to me. Oh boy, you want some marijuana? You want a boy? Keeps it nice. Give me another one to just now. And also certifiably insane. Uh, he was at our annual family reunion uh, pot pie eating contest and he choked on a bone and died. Uh, unfortunately, I was the one that made those pies. Chicken pot pies. Correct, it's a family tradition. Anyway, at the funeral later, uh, there was some ruckus about his makeup because uh, he looked like an undead vampire. Mm. And rather than confront the makeup artist, I sort of asked her out. So you started a relationship? Yeah, as a matter of fact, Charlene and her dog moved in about a month after that. I'm thinking about changing my name. Oh, uh, yeah? Something like Demonia Duskraven. What's wrong with Charlene now? It's not good for stage. What about Fallopia Roseclaw? What about Death Thorn Rosebush? Yeah, I'm being ridiculous. Well, you're just obsessing about death. Again. Have you seen the dog? And you feel responsible? More or less. But animals die all the time. That may be true. But a week later, I went to one of Charlene's plays. I think it was Tim Allen's production of Planet of the Apes the musical. No. It was Edgar Allan Poe's rendition of the vagina monologues. No, no, no. It was Anne Rice, Romeo and Juliet. Romeo, Romeo. Well, Romeo. Romeo. Son of a... And you feel responsible for this? It's not just the deaths. There's other strange things happening as well. Well, let's... Let's explore the strange things. Bam in the wiggle! Bam in the wiggle! Come on over here, honey. This guy got some food. This is the Elmer. Chicken pot pie! Why did you get so many brightly colored shirts? I like colors. You need to wear black. It's your essence. What does that even mean? I was thinking of changing my name again. God, yeah, I'm sure. Think of this. Contessa Candy Bottom. Oh, that'll be great. Or Absinthia Thornblood. Oh, that's perfect. Let's just go home. Oh. Your shirts turn black. They always turn black. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. No. What doesn't make sense is this. A few days later, we go to a party, and Charlene starts in on a, her whole name-changing thing again. I'm trying to decide. What's that? Aperture thorax or anaphylactic. What's that mean? It's my photographer name. It's good for a photographer. Oh, so now it's photography. Hey, Bis what? So the guy slips on my drink and pales himself on a sword. A sword in the kitchen. Why is there a sword in the kitchen? But right after that, a balcony falls over and people tumble into a 500 degree hot tub. 500 degrees! Why was it even that hot? And then everybody died. You know what I think this is? It's a classic case of taponophobia, that's the fear of being contagious 
or it could be thanatophobia. It's the fear of death. Or maybe no, it's no, a combination no, of no, both of no, those things. No, 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 no. It gets way worse than that. Okay, Uncle Mama, Lord. Hey, Mr. Meadows, you're now coming. <laughs> Come on! Heard you were having some problems with your refrigerator. Hi, I'd like to talk to you about... So, I gotta believe that I am death. Doc? Son of a bum 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 bum